Karnataka. Karnataka slash Kana, Tiatkayat slash is a state in southwest India. It was created on November 1, 1956, with the passage of the State's Reorganization Act. Originally known as the State of Mysore, it was renamed Karnataka in 1973. The capital and largest city is Bangalore. Karnataka is bordered by the Arabian Sea and the Lakhadiv Sea to the west, Goa to the northwest, Maharashtra to the north, Andhra Pradesh to the east, Tamil Nadu to the southeast, and Kerala to the southwest. The state covers an area of 191,976 square kilometers, or 5.83% of the total geographical area of India. It is the eighth largest Indian state by area. With 61,130,704 inhabitants at the 2011 census, Karnataka is the ninth largest state by population, comprising 30 districts. Canada is the most widely spoken and official language of the state. The two main river systems of the state are the Krishna and its tributaries, the Bhima, Ghatiprabha, Vadavathi, Malaprabha, and Tundrabhadra, in the north, and the Kaveri and its tributaries, the Hemavati, Shimshore, Arkavati, Lakshmana Thirtha and Kabini, in the south. Both these rivers flow out of Karnataka eastward into the Bay of Bengal. Though several etymologies have been suggested for the name Karnataka, the generally accepted one is that Karnataka is derived from the Kannada words Karu and Nat, meaning elevated land. Karu Nat may also be read as Karu, meaning black, and Nat, meaning region, as a reference to the black cotton soil found in the Balu Seam region of the state. The British used the word Karnatic, sometimes Karnatak, to describe both sides of peninsular India south of the Krishna. With an antiquity that dates to the Paleolithic, Karnataka has been home to some of the most powerful empires of ancient and medieval India. The philosophers and musical bards patronized by these empires launched socio-religious and literary movements which have endured to the present day. Karnataka has contributed significantly to both forms of Indian classical music, the Carnatic and Hindustani traditions. Writers in the Kannada language have received the most number of Janpith awards in India. History Karnataka's prehistory goes back to a Paleolithic hand axe culture evidenced by discoveries of, among other things, hand axes and cleavers in the region. Evidence of Neolithic and Megalithic cultures have also been found in the state. Gold discovered in Harappa was found to be imported from mines in Karnataka prompting scholars to hypothesize about contacts between ancient Karnataka and the Indus Valley civilization circa 3300 BCE. Prior to the 3rd century BCE, most of Karnataka formed part of the Nanda Empire before coming under the Mauryan Empire of Emperor Ashoka. Four centuries of Satyavahana rule followed, allowing them to control large areas of Karnataka. The decline of Satyavahana power led to the rise of the earliest native kingdoms, the Kadambas and the Western Gangas, marking the region's emergence as an independent political entity. The Kadamba dynasty, founded by Mayur Ashama, had its capital at Banavorsi. The Western Ganga dynasty was formed with Talakad as its capital. These were also the first kingdoms to use Canada in administration as evidenced by the Harmadi inscription and a 5th-century copper coin discovered at Banavorsi. These dynasties were followed by imperial Canada empires such as the Badami Shalakyas, the Rashtrakita Empire of Manyakhita and the Western Shalakya Empire, which ruled over large parts of the Deccan and had their capitals in what is now Karnataka. The Western Shalakyas patronized a unique style of architecture and Canada literature which became a precursor to the Hoysala art of 12th century. Parts of modern-day southern Karnataka, Gangavadi, were occupied by the Kola Empire at the turn of 11th century. The Kolas and the Hoysalas fought over the region in the early 12th century before it eventually came under Hoysala rule. At the turn of the first millennium, the Hoysalas gained power in the region. Literature flourished during this time, which led to the distinctive Canada literary meters and the construction of temples and sculptures adhering to the Vesara style of architecture. The expansion of the Hoysala Empire brought minor parts of modern Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu under its rule. In the early 14th century, 
Harayara and Bukharaya established the Vijayanagara Empire with its capital, Hosapatana, later named Vijayanagara, on the banks of the Tunjabhadra River in the modern Bellary district. The empire rose as a bulwark against Muslim advances into South India, which it completely controlled for over two centuries. In 1565, Karnataka and the rest of South India experienced a major geopolitical shift when the Vijayanagara Empire fell to a confederation of Islamic sultanates in the Battle of Talakota. The Bijapur Sultanate, which had risen after the demise of the Bahmani Sultanate of Baidar, soon took control of the Deccan. It was defeated by the Mughals in the late 17th century. The Bahmani and Bijapur rulers encouraged Urdu and Persian literature and Indo-Saracenic architecture, the Golgumbas being one of the high points of this style. During the 16th century, Konkani Hindus migrated to Karnataka, mostly from Salset, Goa, while during the 17th and 18th century, Goan Catholics migrated to South Kanara, especially from Baths, Goa, as a result of food shortages epidemics and heavy taxation imposed by the Portuguese. In the period that followed, parts of northern Karnataka were ruled by the Nizam of Hyderabad, the Maratha Empire, the British, and other powers. In the south, the Mysore Kingdom, former vassals of the Vijayanagara Empire, was briefly independent. With the death of Krishna Raja Wadia II, Hyder Ali, the commander-in-chief of the Mysore army, gained control of the region. After his death, the kingdom was inherited by his son Tipu Sultan. To contain European expansion in South India, Hyder Ali and later Tipu Sultan fought four significant anglo mysore wars, the last of which resulted in Tipu Sultan's death and the incorporation of Mysore into the British Raj in 1799. The kingdom of Mysore was restored to the Wadyars and Mysore remained a princely state under the British Raj. As the doctrine of lapse gave way to dissent and resistance from princely states across the country, Kittushanama, Sangali Rayana and others spearheaded rebellions in Karnataka in 1830, nearly three decades before the Indian Rebellion of 1857. Other uprisings followed, such as the ones at Supa, Bagalkot, Sharapa, Nalgund and Dandeli. These rebellions, which coincided with the 1857 War of Independence, were led by Mundaji Bhumarao, Bhaskar Rao Bave, the Haligali Bidas, Raja Venkatapa Nayaka and others. By the late 19th century, the freedom movement had gained momentum. Karnad Sadashiva Rao, Aluru Venkata Raya, S. Nigelin Gappa, Kangal Hanimans Haya, Nitor Srinivasa Rao and others carried on the struggle into the early 20th century. After India's independence, the Maharaja, Jajchar Marajandra Wadia, allowed his kingdom's accession to India. In 1950, Mysore became an Indian state of the same name. The former Maharaja served as its Raj Ramak, head of state, until 1975. Following the long-standing demand of the Akai Karana movement, Kodaku in Canada-speaking regions from the adjoining states of Madras, Hyderabad and Bombay were incorporated into the Mysore state under the State's Reorganization Act of 1956. The thus expanded state was renamed Karnataka, 17 years later, in 1973. In the early 1900s through the post-independence era, industrial visionaries such as Samokshagun Damvis Vesvaraya born in Mudnaholi, near Kanivanarayanapura, Chikbalapu district played an important role in the development of Karnataka's strong manufacturing and industrial base. Geography The state has three principal geographical zones. The coastal region of Karavali, the hilly Malinad region comprising the western Ats, the Balusim region comprising the plains of the Deccan Plateau. The bulk of the state is in the Balusim region, the northern part of which is the second largest arid region in India. The highest point in Karnataka is the Malay Najiri Hills in Chikmagala district which has an altitude of 1,929 metres, 6,329 feet. Some of the important rivers in Karnataka are Kaveri, Tanjabhadra, Krishna, Malapaba and the Sharavati. Karnataka consists of four main types of geological formations, the Archean complex made up of Tawad schists and granitic gneisses, 
the Proterozoic non-fossiliferous sedimentary formations of the Collagian Pima series, the Deccan Trapine and Intertrapine deposits and the Tertiary and recent Laterites and Alluvial deposits. Significantly, about 60% of the state is composed of the Archean complex which consist of gneisses, granites and charnokite rocks. Laterite cappings that are found in many districts over the Deccan traps were formed after the cessation of volcanic activity in the early tertiary period. Eleven groups of soil orders are found in Karnataka, viz. Entisols, Inceptisols, Molisols, Spodisols, Alfisols, Altisols, Oxisols, Aridisols, Vertisols, Andisols and Histosols. Depending on the agricultural capability of the soil, the soil types are divided into six types, viz. Red, lateritic, black, alluvio-colluvial, forest and coastal soils. Karnataka experiences four seasons. The winter in January and February is followed by summer between March and May, the monsoon season between June and September and the post-monsoon season from October till December. Meteorologically, Karnataka is divided into three zones, coastal, north interior and south interior. Of these, the coastal zone receives the heaviest rainfall with an average rainfall of about 3,638.5 mm, 143 in, per annum, far in excess of the state average of 1,139 mm, 45 in. Igumba in the Shivamogga district receives the second highest annual rainfall in India. The highest recorded temperature was 45.6 DEGC, 114 DEGF, at Rayachar and the lowest recorded temperature was 2.8 DEGC, 37 DEGF, at Vaidar. About 38,724 km to 14,951 square miles, of Karnataka, that is 20% of the state's geographic area, is covered by forests. The forests are classified as reserved, protected, unclosed, village and private forests. The percentage of forested area is slightly less than the All India average of about 23%, and significantly less than the 33% prescribed in the National Forest Policy. Subdivisions There are 30 districts in Karnataka. Bagalkot, Bangalore Rural, Bangalore Urban, Belgaum. Bellary, Baidar, Bijapa, Kamarajanaga, Chikabalapa, Chikomagalaru, Chitrajulga, Dakshina Canada, Davanaga, Tawad, Gadag, Gulbaga, Hussein, Haveri, Kodagu, Kola, Kopal, Mandya, Misal, Rayachur, Ramanagra, Shimoga, Tumka, Adupai, Utara Canada, Yordga. Each district is governed by a district commissioner or district magistrate. The districts are further divided into subdivisions, which are governed by subdivisional magistrates. Subdivisions comprise blocks containing panchayats, village councils, and town municipalities. As per the 2001 census, Karnataka's seven largest cities sorted in order of decreasing population were Bangalore, Hubli-Dhawad, Mysore, Gulbarga, Belgaum, Mangalore and Devanja. Bangalore is the only city with a population of more than 1 million. Bangalore Urban, Belgaum and Gulbarga are the most populous districts, each of them having a population of more than 3 million. Gadag, Kamarajanagar and Kodagu districts have a population of less than 1 million. Demographics According to the 2001 Census of India, the total population of Karnataka is 52,850,562, of which 26,898,918, 50.9% are male and 25,951,644, 49.1% .1 are female, or 1,000 males for every 964 females. This represents a 17.3% increase over the population in 1991. The population density is 275.6 per km2 and 34.0% of the people live in urban areas. The literacy rate is 66.6% with 76.1% of males and 56.9% of females being literate. 
83% of the population are Hindu, 11% are Muslim, 4% are Christian, 0.8% are Jains, 0.7% are Buddhist, and with the remainder belonging to other religions. Kannada is the official language of Karnataka and spoken as a native language by about 64.8% of the people. Other linguistic minorities in the state as of 1991 are Urdu, 9.7%, Telugu, 8.3%, Tamil, 3.8%, Marathi, 4.0%, Tulu, 3.4%, Hindi, 1.9%, Konkani, 1.8%, Malayalam, 1.7% and Kodava Tak, 0.3%. The state has a birth rate of 2.2%, a death rate of 0.7%, an infant mortality rate of 5.5% and a maternal mortality rate of 0.2%. The total fertility rate is 2.2. In the field of super-speciality healthcare, Karnataka's private sector competes with the best in the world. Karnataka has also established a modicum of public health services having a better record of health care and child care than most other states of India. In spite of these advances, some parts of the state still leave much to be desired when it comes to primary health care. Government and Administration Karnataka, like other Indian states, has a parliamentary system of government with two democratically elected houses, the Legislative Assembly and the Legislative Council. The Legislative Assembly consists of 224 members who are elected for five-year terms. The Legislative Council is a permanent body of 75 members with one-third, 25 members, retiring every two years. The government of Karnataka is headed by the Chief Minister who is chosen by the ruling party members of the Legislative Assembly. The Chief Minister, along with the Council of Ministers, drives the legislative agenda and exercises most of the executive powers. However, the constitutional and formal head of the state is the governor who is appointed for a five-year term by the President of India on the advice of the union government. The people of Karnataka also elect 28 members to the Lok Sabha, the lower house of the Indian parliament. The members of the state legislative assembly elect 12 members to the Raya Sabha, the upper house of the Indian parliament. For administrative purposes, Karnataka has been divided into four revenue divisions, 49 subdivisions, 29 districts, 175 taluks and 745 hobbies revenue circles. The administration in each district is headed by a deputy commissioner who belongs to the Indian Administrative Service and is assisted by a number of officers belonging to Karnataka State Services. The deputy commissioner of police, an officer belonging to the Indian Police Service and assisted by the officers of the Karnataka Police Service, is entrusted with the responsibility of maintaining law and order and related issues in each district. The Deputy Conservator of Forests, an officer belonging to the Indian Forest Service, is entrusted with the responsibility of managing forests, environment and wildlife of the district. He will be assisted by the officers belonging to Karnataka Forest Service and officers belonging to Karnataka Forest Subordinate Service. Sectoral development in the districts is looked after by the district head of each development department such as Public Works Department, Health, Education, Agriculture, Animal Husbandry, etc. The judiciary in the state consists of the Karnataka High Court, Atara Kashari, in Bangalore, district and session courts in each district and lower courts and judges at the Taluk level. Politics in Karnataka has been dominated by three political parties, the Indian National Congress, the Janata Dal, Secular, and the Parata Janata Party. Politicians from Karnataka have played prominent roles in federal government of India with some of them having held the high positions of Prime Minister and Vice President. Three cabinet levels ministers in the current United Progressive Alliance government are from Karnataka. Notable among these is former Chief Minister and Honorable Union Minister for Law, Justice and Company Affairs, Veerappa Moili. Border disputes involving Karnataka's claim on the Kazaragod and Shalapa districts and Maharashtra's claim on Belgaum are ongoing since the state's reorganization. The official emblem of Karnataka has a Ganda bear under in the center. Surmounting this are four lions facing the four directions, 
taken from the lion capital of Asoka at Sinaf. The emblem also carries two sharabas with the head of an elephant and the body of a lion. Economy Karnataka had an estimated GSDP, gross state domestic product, of about 58.23 billion US dollars in 2008 September fiscal year. The state registered a GSDP growth rate of 7% for the year 2007 to 2008. Karnataka's contribution to India's GDP in the year 2004 May was 5.2%. With GDP growth of 56.2% and per capita GDP growth of 43.9%, Karnataka is now on the 15th position among all states. At the end of 2004, the unemployment rate in Karnataka was 4.94% compared to the national rate of 5.99%. For the fiscal year 2006 July, the inflation rate in Karnataka was 4.4%, compared to the national average of 4.7%. As of 2004 05, Karnataka had an estimated poverty ratio of 17%, less than the national ratio of 27.5%. Nearly 56% of the workforce in Karnataka is engaged in agriculture and related activities. A total of 12.31 million hectares of land, or 64.6% .6 of the state's total area, is cultivated. Much of the agricultural outputs is dependent on the southwest monsoon as only 26.5% of the sown area is irrigated. Karnataka is the manufacturing hub for some of the largest public sector industries in India, including Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, National Aerospace Laboratories, Parat Heavy Electricals Limited, Indian Telephone Industries, Parat Earth Movers Limited and HMT, formerly Hindustan Machine Tools, which are based in Bangalore. Many of India's premier science and technology research centers, such as Indian Space Research Organization, Central Power Research Institute, Parat Electronics Limited and the Central Food Technological Research Institute, are also headquartered in Karnataka. Mangalore Refinery and Petrochemicals Limited is an oil refinery located in Mangalore. Since the 1980s, Karnataka has emerged as the pan-Indian leader in the field of IT, information technology. As of 2007, there were nearly 2,000 firms operating out of Karnataka. Many of them, including two of India's biggest software firms, Infosys and Wipro are also headquartered in the state. Exports from these firms exceeded 50,000 crores, $12.5 billion, in 2006 July, accounting for nearly 38% of all IT exports from India. The Nandi Hills area in the outskirts of Devanaholi is the site of the upcoming $22 billion, 50 square kilometer BIAL IT investment region, one of the largest infrastructure projects in the history of Karnataka. All this has earned the state capital. Bangalore, the sobriquet Silicon Valley of India. Karnataka also leads the nation in biotechnology. It is home to India's largest biocluster, with 158 of the country's 320 biotechnology firms being based here. The state accounts for 75% of India's floriculture, an upcoming industry which supplies flowers and ornamental plants worldwide. Seven of India's banks, Kanara Bank, Syndicate Bank, Corporation Bank, Vijna Bank, Karnataka Bank, Visnu Bank and the State Bank of Mysore originated in this state. The coastal districts of Udupi and Dakshina Canada have a branch for every 500 persons, the best distribution of banks in India. As of March 2002, Karnataka had 4767 branches of different banks with each branch serving 11,000 persons which is lower than the national average of 16,000. A majority of the silk industry in India is headquartered in Karnataka state, much of it in Dodibolapura, and the state government intends to invest. 70 crore in the silk city at Mudnaholi, near Bangalore International Airport. Transport Air transport in Karnataka, as in the rest of the country, is still a fledgling but fast-expanding sector. Karnataka has airports at Bangalore, Mangalore, Hubli, Belgaum, Hampi, Bellary and Mysore with international operations from Bangalore and Mangalore airports. 
major airlines such as Kingfisher Airlines and Kingfisher Red are based in Bangalore. Karnataka has a railway network with a total length of approximately 3,089 kilometers, 1,919 miles. Until the creation of the Southwestern Zone headquartered at Hubli in 2003, the railway network in the state was in the Southern and Western Railway Zones. Several parts of the state now come under the Southwestern Zone, with the remainder under the Southern Railways. Coastal Karnataka is covered under the Konkan Railway Network which was considered India's biggest railway project of the century. Bangalore is extensively connected with interstate destinations while other important cities and towns in the state are not so well connected. Karnataka has 11 ports, including the new Mangalore port, a major port and 10 other minor ports. The new Mangalore port was incorporated as the ninth major port in India on May 4, 1974. This port handled 32.04 million tons of traffic in the fiscal year 2006 July with 17.92 million tons of imports and 14.12 million tons of exports. The port also handled 1015 vessels including 18 cruise vessels during the year 2006 July. The inland water transport within the state is not well developed. The total lengths of national highways and state highways in Karnataka are 3,973 and 9,829 km, 2,469 and 6,107 miles, respectively. The KSRTC, the State Public Transport Corporation, transports an average of 2.2 million passengers daily and employs about 25,000 people. In the late 90s, KSRTC was split into three corporations, viz, the Bangalore Metropolitan Transport Corporation, the Northwest Karnataka Road Transport Corporation and the Northeast Karnataka Road Transport Corporation with their headquarters in Bangalore, Hubli and Gulbarga respectively. Culture the diverse linguistic and religious ethnicities that are native to Karnataka combined with their long histories have contributed immensely to the varied cultural heritage of the state. Apart from Kannadigas, Karnataka is home to Tuluvas, Kodavas and Kwankanis. Minor populations of Tibetan Buddhists and tribes like the Soligas, Uravas, Todas and Siddhas also live in Karnataka. The traditional folk arts cover the entire gamut of music, dance drama, storytelling by itinerant troops, etc. Yakshagana of Malnad and coastal Karnataka, a classical dance drama, is one of the major theatrical forms of Karnataka. Contemporary theatre culture in Karnataka remains vibrant with organisations like Ninazam, Rangashankara, Rangayana and Prabhakalevadaru continuing to build on the foundations laid by Gubbi Virana, T. P. K. Lazam, B. V. Karanth. K. V. Subana, Prasna and others. Virgas, Kamzale, Kalata and Dalukunitha are popular dance forms. The Miso style of Paratanatya nurtured and popularized by the likes of the legendary Jati Tayama continues to hold sway in Karnataka and Bangalore also enjoys an eminent place as one of the foremost centers of Paratanatya. Karnataka also has a special place in the world of Indian classical music with both Karnataka, Carnatic, and Hindustani styles finding place in the state and Karnataka has produced a number of stalwarts in both styles. While referring to music the word Karnataka, the original name given to the South Indian classical music does not mean the state of Karnataka. The Haridasa movement of the 16th century contributed seminally to the development of Karnataka, Carnatic, music as a performing art form. Purandaradasa, one of the most revered Haridasas, is known as the Karnataka Sanjita Pitamaha, father of Karnataka aka Carnatic music. Celebrated Hindustani musicians like Ganju Bai Hangal, Malika Jun Mansa, Bimson Joshi, Basavarada Rajaguru, Sawai Gandhava and several others hail from Karnataka and some of them have been recipients of the Kalidas Saman, Padma Bhushan and Padma Vibhushan awards. Noted Carnatic musicians include Violin T. Chaudhya, Vienna Shashana, Miso Vasuda Varsha, Doris Amiyanga and Thet Krishna Iyengar. Gamaka is another classical music genre based on Carnatic music that is practiced in Karnataka. 
Canada Bavajit is a genre of popular music that draws inspiration from the expressionist poetry of modern poets. The Miso school of painting has produced painters like Sundaraya, Tanjavakandaya, B. Venkatapa and Keshavalya. Chitrakala Parasat is an organization in Karnataka dedicated to promoting painting, mainly in the Miso painting style. Sari is the traditional dress of women in Karnataka. Women in Kodaku have a distinct style of wearing the sari, different from the rest of Karnataka. Dhoti, known as Pank in Karnataka is the traditional attire of men. Shirt, trousers and salwar kameez are widely worn in urban areas. Misopita is the traditional headgear of southern Karnataka, while the Bagadi or Patega, similar to the Rajasthani turban, is preferred in the northern areas of the state. Rice and Raji form the staple food in South Karnataka, whereas Jalada Roti, sorghum is staple to North Karnataka. Bisi Beel Bath, Jalada Roti, Raji Mud, Upaichu, Ben Dos, Maisla Dos and Madhurved are some of the popular food items in Karnataka. Among sweets, Misopak, Karadantu of Gokak and Amangad, Belgar Vikunda and Tawad Pida are popular. Apart from this, Coastal Karnataka and Kodaku have distinctive cuisines of their own. Adupai cuisine of coastal Karnataka is popular all over India. Religion Adi Shankaracharya chose Srinari in Karnataka to establish the first of his four mathas, monastery. Madhvashaya, 1238-1317, was the chief proponent of Tattvavada, philosophy of reality, popularly known as Dvaita or dualistic school of Hindu philosophy, one of the three most influential Vedanta philosophies. Madhva was one of the important philosophers during the Bhakti movement. He was a pioneer in many ways, going against standard conventions and norms. According to tradition, Madhvakaya is believed to be the third incarnation of Vala, Mukhyoprana, after Hanuman and Pima. The Haridasa, Canada, Riders, Devotional movement is considered as one of the turning points in the cultural history of India. Over a span of nearly six centuries, several saints and mystics helped shape the culture, philosophy and art of South India and Karnataka in particular by exerting considerable spiritual influence over the masses and kingdoms that ruled South India. This movement was ushered in by the Haridasas, literally servants of Lord Hari and took shape in the 13th century, 14th century CE period, prior to and during the early rule of the Vijayanagara Empire. The main objective of this movement was to propagate the Dvaita philosophy of Madhvashaya, Madhva Siddhanta, to the masses through a literary medium known as Dasa Sautya literature of the servants of the Lord. Purandara Dasa is widely recognized as the Pithamaha of Carnatic music for his immense contribution. Ramanujacharya, the leading expounder of Vaisist Advaita, spent many years in Melkot. He came to Karnataka in 1098 AD and lived here until 1122 AD. He first lived in Tondana and then moved to Melkot where the Kiluvanarayana temple and a well-organized matha were built. He was patronized by the Hoysala king, Vishnuvardhana. In the 12th century, Lingayatism emerged in northern Karnataka as a protest against the rigidity of the prevailing social and caste system. Leading figures of this movement were Basava, Akka Mahadevi and Alama Prabhu, who established the Anabhava Mantapa which was the center of all religious and philosophical thoughts and discussions pertaining to Liganites. These three social reformers did so by the literary means of Vashena Sautya which is very famous for its simple, straightforward and easily understandable Canada language. Lingayatism preached women equality by letting women wear Isitalinga that is symbol of God around their neck. Basava shunned the sharp hierarchical divisions that existed and sought to remove all distinctions between the hierarchically superior master class and the subordinate, servile class. He also supported intercaste marriages and Karayaka Tattva of Babes of Anna. This was the basis of the Lingayat faith which today counts millions among its followers. The Jain philosophy and literature have contributed immensely to the religious and cultural landscape of Karnataka. Islam, which had an early presence on the west coast of India as early as the 10th century,
gained a foothold in Karnataka with the rise of the Bayamani and Bijapa Sultanates that ruled parts of Karnataka. Christianity reached Karnataka in the 16th century with the arrival of the Portuguese in St. Francis Xavier in 1545. Buddhism was popular in Karnataka during the first millennium in places such as Gulbarga and Banavasi. A chance discovery of edicts and several Mauryan relics at Sanati in Gulbarga district in 1986 has proven that the Krishna River Basin was once home to both Mahayana and Hainayana Buddhism. There are Tibetan refugee camps in Karnataka. Mysore Dasra is celebrated as the Nada Haba, state festival, and this is marked by major festivities at Mysore. Ugadi, Canada New Year, Makara Sankranti, the Harvest Festival, Ganesh Chaturthi, Nagapanchami, Basava Jayanthi, Depavali, and Ramzan are the other major festivals of Karnataka. Language The Kannada language serves as the official language of the state of Karnataka, as the native language of approximately 65% of its population and as one of the classical languages of India. Kannada played a crucial role in the creation of Karnataka. Linguistic demographics played a major role in defining the new state in 1956. Tulu, Kodava and Konkani are other minor native languages that share a long history in the state. Urdu is spoken widely by the Muslim population. Less widely spoken languages include Biri Bash and certain dialects such as Sangli. Canada features a rich and ancient body of literature covering topics as diverse as Jainism, Virashaivism, such as Vashanas, Vaishnavism, such as Haridasa Sautya, and modern literature. Evidence from edicts during the time of Ashoka the Great, reigned 274-232 BCE, suggest that Buddhist literature influenced the Kannada script and its literature. The Harmadi inscription, the earliest attested full-length inscription in the Kannada language and script, dates from 450 CE, while the earliest available literary work, the Kaviraja Marga, has been dated to 850 CE. References made in the Kaviraja Marga, however, prove that Kannada literature flourished in the native composition meters such as Chathana, Bedand and Mulvad during earlier centuries. The classic refers to several earlier greats, Pervesh Hayur, of Kannada poetry and prose. Kuvampu, the renowned Kannada poet and writer who wrote Jarabharata Janana Tangu Jait, the state anthem of Karnataka was the first recipient of the Karnataka Ratna Award, the highest civilian award bestowed by the government of Karnataka. Contemporary Kannada literature has received considerable acknowledgement in the arena of Indian literature, with eight Kannada writers winning India's highest literary honour, the Janpith Award, the highest tally for any language in India. Tulu is spoken mainly in the coastal districts of Udupi and Dakshina Kannada. Tulu Mahabharato, written by Arunabja in the Tulu script, is the oldest surviving Tulu text. The Tulu language now uses the Kannada script due to the gradual decline of the Tulu script, which was in use until a few centuries ago. The Kodavas who mainly reside in the Kodagu district, speak Kodavatak. Two regional variations of the language exist, the northern Mendale Taka and the southern Kigati Taka. Konkani is mostly spoken in the Uttara Kannada district and in some parts of the Udupi and Dakshina Kannada districts. Both Kodavatak and Konkani use the Kannada script for writing. English is the medium of education in many schools and widely used for business communication in most private companies. All of the state's languages are patronized and promoted by governmental and quasi-governmental bodies. The Canada Sautia Paris Hat and the Canada Sautia Academy are responsible for the promotion of Canada while the Karnataka Konkani Sautia Academy, the Tulu Sautia Academy and the Kodava Sautia Academy promote their respective languages. Education As per the 2011 census, Karnataka had a literacy rate of 75.60% with 82.85% of males and 68.13% of females in the state being literate. In 2001 the literacy rate of the state was 67.04%, with 76.29% of males and 57.45% of females being literate. 
The state is home to some of the premier educational and research institutions of India such as the Indian Institute of Science, the Indian Institute of Management, the National Institute of Technology Karnataka and the National Law School of India University. As of March 2006, Karnataka had 54,529 primary schools with 252,875 teachers and 8.495 million students, and 9498 secondary schools with 92,287 teachers and 1.384 million students. There are three kinds of schools in the state, viz, government-run, private-aided, financial aid is provided by the government, and private unaided, no financial aid is provided. The primary languages of instruction in most schools are Canada and English. The syllabus taught in the schools is either of the CBSE, the ICSE or the state syllabus, SSLC, defined by the Department of Public Construction of the Government of Karnataka. However, some schools follow an IOS syllabus. The state has one Sainik school in Bijapur also. In order to maximize attendance in schools, the Karnataka government has launched a midday meal scheme in government and aided schools in which free lunch is provided to the students. Statewide board examinations are conducted at the end of the period of secondary education and students who qualify are allowed to pursue a two-year pre-university course, after which students become eligible to pursue undergraduate degrees. There are 481 degree colleges affiliated with one of the universities in the state, viz. Bangalore University, Gulbarga University, Karnatak University, Kuvampu University, Mangalore University and Mysore University. In 1998, the engineering colleges in the state were brought under the newly formed Visvesvaraya Technological University headquartered at Belgaum whereas the medical colleges are run under the jurisdiction of the Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences. Some of these baccalaureate colleges are accredited with the status of a deemed university. There are 186 engineering, 39 medical and 41 dental colleges in the state. Adupai, Srinari, Gokana and Melkot are well-known places of Sanskrit and Vedic learning. An Indian Institute of Technology Mudnahali has been approved by the central government as part of the May 11th year plan. This will be the first IIT in Karnataka state. In addition, a 600 crore Visvesvaraya Institute of Advanced Technology, VIAT, is being constructed in Mudnahali Kanivanaraya Napura. Tulu language is taught as an optional subject in the twin districts of South Kanara and Adupai. Media The era of Canada newspapers started in the year 1843 when Herman Mogling, a missionary from Basel Mission, published the first Canada newspaper called Mangaluru Samachera in Mangalore. The first Canada periodical, Mysura Vratain to Bodhini was started by Bashyam Bashiokaya in Mysore. Shortly after Indian independence in 1948, K. N. Gurusami founded the printers, Mysore. Private Limited and began publishing two newspapers, Deccan Herald and Giovanni. Presently the Times of India and Vajra Karnataka are the largest selling English and Canada newspapers respectively. A vast number of weekly, bi-weekly and monthly magazines are under publication in both Canada and English. Adhirvani, Kannadaprabha, Samyukta Karnataka, Vartha Parathi, Sanjivani, Iyazanji, Hosa D. Gantha. Caravalli Ale are also some popular dailies published from Karnataka. Dodarshan is the broadcaster of the Government of India and its channel DD Shondana is dedicated to Canada. Prominent Canada channels include Janazri News, http colon slash slash ETV Canada, Z Canada, Adlyar TV, U2, TV9, Basinet Yavana and Castori TV. Karnataka occupies a special place in the history of Indian radio. In 1935, Akashvani, the first private radio station in India, was started by Professor M. V. Gopalasamy at Mysore. The popular radio station was taken over by the local municipality and later by All India Radio, AIR, and moved to Bangalore in 1955. Later in 1957, 
AIR adopted the original name of the radio station, Orkishavani is its own. Some of the popular programs aired by AIR Bangalore included Nisaga Sampada and Seya Sanji Avni which were programs that taught science through songs, plays and stories. These two programs became so popular that they were translated and broadcast in 18 different languages and the entire series was recorded on cassettes by the government of Karnataka and distributed to thousands of schools across the state. Karnataka has witnessed a growth in FM radio channels, mainly in the cities of Bangalore, Mangalore and Mysore, which has become hugely popular. Sports Karnataka's smallest district, Kodagu, is a major contributor to Indian field hockey, producing numerous players who have represented India at the international level. The annual Kodava Hockey Festival is the largest hockey tournament in the world. Bangalore has hosted a WTA tennis event and, in 1997, it hosted the fourth national games of India. The Sports Authority of India, the premier sports institute in the country, and the Knight Tennis Academy are also situated in Bangalore. Karnataka has been referred to as the cradle of Indian swimming because of its high standards in comparison to other states. One of the most popular sports in Karnataka is cricket. The state cricket team has won the Ranji Trophy seven times, second only to Mumbai in terms of success. Chinasamy Stadium in Bangalore regularly hosts international matches and is also the home of the National Cricket Academy, which was opened in 2000 to nurture potential international players. Many cricketers have represented India and in one international match held in the 1990s. Players from Karnataka composed the majority of the national team. The Karnataka Premier League, an inter-regional 2020 cricket tournament is a cricket tournament played in the state. The Royal Challengers Bangalore, an Indian Premier League franchise, is based in Bangalore. Sports like Coco, Kabaddi, Chini Day and Do and Goli, Marbles, are played mostly in Karnataka's rural areas. Notable sportsmen from Karnataka include Prakash Padukone who won the All England Badminton Championships in 1980 and Pankaj Advani who has won three world titles in Q Sports by the age of 20 including the Amateur World Snooker Championship in 2003 and the World Billiards Championship in 2005. Cycling talent of Karnataka needs a special mention. Of late Bijapur district has produced some of the best known road cyclists in the national circuit. Premalita Shuraban was part of the Indian contingent at the Perlis Open 99 in Malaysia. In recognition of the talent of cyclists in the district, the state government has already laid a cycling track at the Beer Ambedkar Stadium here, spending 40 lakh. Flora and Fauna Karnataka has a rich diversity of flora and fauna. It has a recorded forest area of 38,720 km2, 14,950 square miles, which constitutes 20.19% of the total geographical area of the state. These forests support 25% of the elephant and 10% of the tiger population of India. Many regions of Karnataka are as yet unexplored, so new species of flora and fauna are found periodically. The Western Ats, a biodiversity hotspot, includes the western region of Karnataka. Two subclusters in the western Ats, Viz. Talakovari and Kudramak, both in Karnataka, are on the tentative list of World Heritage Sites of UNESCO. The Bandipa and Nagarihal National Parks, which fall outside these subclusters, were included in the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve in 1986, a UNESCO designation. The Indian roller and the Indian elephant are recognized as the state bird and animal while sandalwood and the lotus are recognized as the state tree and flower respectively. Karnataka has five national parks, Anchi, Bandipa, Banafata, Kudramak and Negahol. It also has 25 wildlife sanctuaries of which seven are bird sanctuaries. Wild animals that are found in Karnataka include the elephant, the tiger, the leopard, the gaur, the Simba deer, the chital or spotted deer, the mundrick, the bonnet macaque, the slender lorries, the common palm civet, the small Indian civet, the sloth bear, the dole, the striped hyena and the golden jackal. 
Some of the birds found here are the great hornbill, the Malabar pied hornbill, the Ceylon frogmouth, herons, ducks, kites, eagles, falcons, quails, partridges, lapwings, sandpipers, pigeons, doves, parakeets, cuckoos, owls, nightjars, swifts, kingfishers, bee eaters, and munias. Some species of trees found in Karnataka are Calipillum tomentosa, Calipillum whitenum, Garcina cambogia, Garcina moriella, Alstonia scolaris, Flacutia montana, Artocarpus hirsutus, Artocarpus lacucha, Cinnamomum zelanicum, Gruatilla folia, Santillum album, Sharia talara, Emblica officinalis, Vitex altissima, and Rhesia tinctoria. Wildlife in Karnataka is threatened by poaching habitat destruction, human-wildlife conflict and pollution. Tourism By virtue of its varied geography and long history, Karnataka hosts numerous spots of interest for tourists. There is an array of ancient sculptured temples, modern cities, scenic hill ranges, unexplored forests and endless beaches. Karnataka has been ranked as the fourth most popular destination for tourism among the states of India. Karnataka has the second highest number of nationally protected monuments in India, second only to Uttar Pradesh, in addition to 752 monuments protected by the State Directorate of Archaeology and Museums. Another 25,000 monuments are yet to receive protection. The districts of the Western Ets and the Southern districts of the state have popular ecotourism locations including Kudramak, Madakiri and Agumb. Karnataka has 25 wildlife sanctuaries and five national parks. Popular among them are Bandipa National Park, Banafata National Park and Negahol National Park. The ruins of the Vijayanagara Empire at Hampi and the monuments of Patada Kala are on the list of UNESCO's World Heritage Sites. The cave temples at Badami and the rock-cut temples at Ahol representing the Badami Shalakian style of architecture are also popular tourist destinations. The Hoysala temples at Bella and Hale Baidu, which were built with chloritic schist, soapstone, are proposed UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The Golgumbas and Ibrahim Rosa are famous examples of the Deccan Sultanate style of architecture. The monolith of Gamatishwara Balabali at Ravana Belagola is the tallest sculpted monolith in the world, attracting tens of thousands of pilgrims during the Mayamasta Kabishka festival. The waterfalls of Karnataka and Kudramak are listed as must-see places and among the 1001 natural wonders of the world. Jog Falls is India's tallest single-tiered waterfall with Gokak Falls, Anchali Falls, Magod Falls, Abbey Falls and Shivanasamudra Falls among other popular waterfalls. Several popular beaches dot the coastline, including Marudishwara, Gokana, Malp and Karwal. In addition, Karnataka is home to several places of religious importance. Several Hindu temples including the famous Adupai Shri Krishna Matha, the Marakamba Temple at Sirsi, the Sri Manjanatha Temple at Dharmasthala, Kuk Subramanya Temple and Sharadamba Temple at Srinari attract pilgrims from all over India. Most of the holy sites of Lingayatism, like Kudala Sanjama and Bhadzavana Bajwadi, are found in northern parts of the state. Shravana Belagola, Mudabayadri and Karkala are famous for Jain history and monuments. Jainism had a stronghold in Karnataka in the early medieval period with Shravana Belagola as its most important center. Recently Karnataka has emerged as a hotspot for health care tourism. Karnataka has the highest number of approved health systems and alternative therapies in India. Along with some ISO certified government owned hospitals, Private institutions which provide international quality services have caused the healthcare industry to grow by 30% during 2004-05. Hospitals in Karnataka treat around 8,000 health tourists every year, 